That's Miles Kane, better than that on XFM, the last ever Smart and Sunday. Bonkers. It bonkers, he says bonkers, that's banned. As you can hear from the voice in the background, Mr. Noel Gallagher's joining us. Hello, Noel. Alright, Gogsy. What kind of mood are you in today, sir? Yeah, I'm in the most techno prisoners, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really you in. That's the wrong answer. I'm terrified. Have you, you, you got your bags packed? You know, I have. Give me your little tartan suitcases. My wee tartan suitcases packed. My, my kilt is ready. There's been a murder at the Pulper <laughs> Bulgar van in Manchester. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say to you, right, just before anything happens today, right, I'd yeah. just like to say to if my parents are listening. Which are, well, undoubtedly they are. Yeah, and uh, any potential uh, employers, and my current employers, anything you say right now, with a pinch of salt, mum and dad, it, you just maybe make it up a little bit. Well, whatever, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know, you don't know what I know, you know, <laughs> you don't know what we know about your son, what he's been up to down here. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, His dear. wife knows, though. Yeah, she does, yeah. Is Kate listening? Yeah, she, well, I hope not. Hi, Kate. Hi, <laughs> Kate. Oh, no. Go <laughs> easy on him. Oh, go, I'll go easy on him. As you know, once, I did once wake up with a bla black eye, didn't I, after I out with you? Oh, more than that, I've seen you drinking aftershave, I've yeah. seen you, uh, W waking up shop doorways. Yes, oh, that was a bad Steal one. the fire engines, did that ever come out? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, Trying to steal a fire engine, did that ever come out? Are you alright to hang around a little bit longer? I think that came out in a foreign country as well. <laughs> <laughs> Frowned upon, I'd have thought. Oh dear. By pr past or pr present or previous input or next employers, yeah. Oh dear. What else? I'm Remember not the quiz night we went to? <laughs> oh yeah. Did, yeah. Did we, should we go into that? Yeah, that was the, that was the aftershave night, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we went to a quiz night and, uh, my team was so appalling that we won, we won, <laughs> we won a bottle of David Beckham's new aftershave. <laughs> which he proceeded to drink. Obviously. Oh, yeah. I don't, why did you drink it? We've just been Scottish. I think so, yeah. Uh, Mike Johnson, <laughs> so, um, I wasn't the only pit, we shared it. Mike ah, and no, 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 no. I think I drank no, most no, of it. No, 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 no. You drank most of it. Can I say it tasted alright? It tasted better than it smells. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, you're going to stick around a little bit longer. We've got a break indeed, now, yeah. and then we're going to play a bit of Nose Music, the Beatles, and some other stuff as well. That's No Gallicus High Flying Birds, aka Water Life, and uh, Mr. Gallicus joins us in the studio on a Sunday afternoon, which is very kind of him. Oh, yeah. listen, any, 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 <laughs> any time I can give you a send off back over the borders, <laughs> all right, my me. We're just talking about uh, some of the best nights we've had out. Yeah, and, that's uh, super fun, don't we? Yeah, normally end in a bit of trouble for me. Like, you get away. So with you it. don't, you don't tend to handle the. The, the front end of it's always all right with you. Yeah. It's the back end of it. You seem to have real trouble getting home. Yeah, that, like, Once I get home, I'm in trouble it. as well. Yeah, yeah, and then waking up covered in Ribena. That's a regular... You've been knifed on the tube and stuff. Yeah, I slept in the garden recently as well because of you. Yeah, uh, uh, well, the last... Actually, the last time we were out <laughs> properly, I got a call off his missus the next day. Like, Has anyone seen Gordon? I said, well... <laughs> he was here at three o'clock this morning. She said, "Well, he's gone missing. He's supposed to be. At a, he's supposed to be at a meeting at the Sun this morning at eight o'clock." I was like, "He was claiming he was trying to go out. We were trying to put him in a taxi, saying, look, it's four o'clock. We won't, won't be going anywhere." And uh, what happened? You forgot your keys? Well, I, no, I, I woke up and left his watch. No, yeah. he didn't. No, actually, so I find a watch and a tie in my house, and I'm thinking, well, it must be Gordon's because it's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right. a rubbish tie and a cheap watch. Still not got to the bottom of who's that watch that is, so if you're listening, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bigger <laughs> question. <laughs> <to> you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah, what happened? I woke up at um, about half eleven with my next neighbour banging on the window. I was lying in my pants, covered in crisps. Why did you take your pants? I, in the garden? No, this was in my room. Oh, right. On top of the covers, half dressed, right, kind of right. half dressed. With salt and vinegar crisps, what, by the right, way. Nice. You know. What, uh, McCoy, McCoy, McCoy's? Eh, uh, they were actually, the ridged ones. The big ones, ones very yeah. good, very well, good. Chris Arvell, but they're not as good. Oh, they're very good. And uh, I looked at my phone, I had 45 missed calls, which was a worry. And then I thought, yeah. why am I not at work? Which wasn't good. And then, uh, <laughs> I started to look at the text messages and I got alarmed. I yeah. was quite alarmed. And I listened back to my messages and there was one from my mum and it said, Listen, Gordon, if you're in a bit of trouble and you can't tell Kate or you can't tell anybody about it, you know you can talk to us. Brilliant. And I thought, oh. And, and uh, on top of all that, they've managed to give you the editorship of the Scottish Sun. Well, they said, you know, it's time to recover. Right, so that's what trouble that country's in, really, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's me. You know, they're just on the fact of going independent, you know. Yeah. Going indie. Scotland's going in, they're releasing their own <laughs> records. <laughs> and who've they got to orate this to the to the world? A man who's covered in crisps and rye bean at three in the afternoon when he should have been at work at eight in the morning. <laughs> Who better? Riding home up the M74, <laughs> on my way back, just launching a grenade over the, over Hadrian's wall. Cheerio! Nice one, guys. Deal with that, Roy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right, ride a cup as well, you know, Commonwealth Games, they need a man in charge that knows what he's talking about. Yeah, so why did they pick you then? 
<laughs> Where right. is he? <laughs> should, we talk, should we talk about some of the good nights out we've had then, right? Well, like? How about the night, um, the Oasis didn't play V and we went out and, uh, I lost my shoes and you were given a Rolls Royce. Oh, what, no, no, what, no, what happened? We went, uh, the night, yeah, the night we didn't play V, uh, we, we went out, we went out, there's a few of us went out, didn't we? Because yeah. we, we were in the, we were in the party mood and we got to this place down Brick Lane and we were with some, we were with our respective <laughs> ladies, you were, I was with lovely Sarah, afternoon Sarah, <laughs> and of course, her mate, Stacey, who is a bit mental. <laughs> and, uh, Scottish. Uh, she's Scottish and a bit mental. For some reason, she, uh, no, I won't say what she did, because that was a bit mad, but she ended up, she ended up, we found our way into the kitchen of this nightclub, and she ended up with a lot of cutlery in her handbag. Anyway, <laughs> she gets in an altercation with a girl who just happens to be a gangster's bird. <laughs> and it's all kind of, it's all kind of been really, you know, girls and all that, and I'm trying to kind of smooth things over, and this gangster, he's tried to give me the keys to his Rolls Royce to calm everybody down, <laughs> and his Rolex watch, and I was going, mate, I don't, I don't, what, I can't drive. <laughs> I don't want your car. And he was going, take it, take it, take it, mate, you know what I mean, we're all cool. And I'm like, I'm not even causing any trouble, I just want another <laughs> drink and I want to go home, you know. And, uh, then, so we get outside and there's all a bit of a, all a bit of a hoo-ha, and we, we get in a taxi, <laughs> and we see him walking up Brick Lane with one shoe on. <laughs> I think I threw my shoe at him, that guy. Yeah. And, uh, I and think the thing is, we didn't stop the taxi and say, get him, we were just like, oh, it's Gordon with one shoe. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> cute. <laughs> See you later, Gogs. Oh, dear. Hey, man. Do you remember the first night out we had? Here's one for you, right? In 2004, Franz Ferdinand. Uh, I do you remember that, yeah. Remember that? And what you might not remember about it was that, uh, yeah, the lovely Sarah, lovely Sarah was there, and I had a really embarrassing black poly bag. Do you remember that? A black, what's that? Poly a, black, a bag, a poly bag, you know, like a polythene bag. Polythene, say polythene. Yeah. Polythene. <laughs> come on, yeah. I had a black, you can't back over the wall yet. I had a black polythene bag, and uh, I just bought a DVD from a dodgy shop round the corner. <laughs> wasn't it, was it, was that porn, was it? It was, yeah. Ah. <laughs> and you kept saying to you kept saying to me, what have you got in the bag? And I'm like, uh, uh, nothing, because Sarah was there and I didn't want her to know. And you're you're like, your missus listening to this? Kinda, yeah. I hope Does not. she know you're into that kind of thing? This is getting awkward, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't expect it to get this. You're, you're <laughs> burn victims, was it? <laughs> well, you're right, stick around. <laughs> yeah, you're right, stick around a bit longer. I'm sticking around until you've, you've got divorced, mate. Don't you worry about that. Oh dear me. It's Arctic Monkeys. Why do they really call me when you're high? Uh, on the last ever Smart Sunday with No Gallica. <laughs> Arctic Monkeys. Why do they really call me when you're high? We've got No Gallica in the studio. Like that new album, no? Yeah. He actually could have wrote that song about you, Clay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, we're just talking about uh, Flash, right? We do this little thing where we do name dropping, no? Oh, yeah, you're uh, good at that, though. Oh, very good. Mind you, it was your job, though. A lot of people used to say, Gogs, isn't he? You know, going on about the Kardashians. It's like, but it's his game. I think I talked about them. No. That might have been me, but. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was you, it was. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of what I've got to do, right? So you, you meet a lot of famous people just by the nature of wandering around being yourself. Um, who have you met this week? Do you want to go through them one by one? Who have I met this week? I met, uh, on Monday, I met Andy Murray at the O2. We were watching, uh, Mickey Flanagan. Oh. It was outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, let me see, I've spoke to Russell Brand a couple of times, once to tell him that I wasn't going to see him at Amazon <laughs> Pollock because I was going to see Mickey Flanagan, which I he was not pleased about. Right, right. Um, and I met Andy Carroll yesterday. Yes. Uh, Christian Daly. Oh, Christian Chris. Daly. He's you a can. top, he's a top man, Christian Daly. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Ben Thatcher, does anyone know who Ben Thatcher is? Yeah, X Man City, Wimbledon. Gordon yeah, yeah. Broke, and Jolin. Yeah, broke a player's jaw for no apparent reason. He's a thug, isn't he, Ben Thatcher? Let's be honest. Well, as you can say that. I can't really because I might see him next time. <laughs> <laughs> is there not a story about him eating a phone backstage at an Oasis gig that I remember? <laughs> the, he, he did get a bit moody once at Finsbury yeah. Park, I think. I think I was there. Yeah, I he, think he did get a bit moody. Joey Barton was Park. there. Yeah, the philosopher. <laughs> Joseph Barton. <laughs> Joseph F. Barton. Yeah, um, uh, I think. Who else did I meet yesterday? Who else have I met? No, I think that's it for this week. It's been, been a good. bit of a quiet week. What were you talking to Andy Carroll about? Well, when, 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 <laughs> when we, when we went on, when I was in Brazil last time on, uh, my highly successful last world tour, <laughs> uh, uh, this was called Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, <laughs> coining it in, uh, we went to, uh, a rather discreet little nightclub in the back streets of Rio de Janeiro, and, uh, I said to him, you're gonna be going Rio, do you reckon? And he said, yeah, I'll get free, I'll try and get the plane. I said, I'll tell you what, mate, it's a club you've got to go to. Okay? <laughs> and he said, oh, and I said, it's called The Balcony. He stopped me and he said, I've already been. <laughs> and I thought, nice. Great club. Jazz club. 
Right. Okay. Yeah. Just, just music. Just is that what they call it? Isn't it? Uh, yeah, just nice jazz. Just nice <laughs> coffee time jazz. <laughs> Have you ever been there with your lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, pouting, fragrant wife, Sarah? Fragrant? Hang on a minute, how close have you two got? <laughs> well, she wears a lot of perfume. No, she doesn't. Alright, does she not? She do I swear, she would, this phone, if this phone doesn't ring in the next ten seconds with a shower, she does not wear a lot of perfume. It's maybe just because she I smells, smell awful. No, she, <laughs> actually, she smells a little bit like an Indian spice shop, if it's just cold. <laughs> and, um, uh, no, uh, it's gonna try and get Sarah out to the World Cup in Brazil, but of yeah. course, Scotland's not qualified again. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Very good. You have been to every World Cup final for the last I've four been the last Cups, four, I think, yeah, mm -hmm. to the finals. Luckily enough, a mate of mine, Gary <coughs> Aston, who works for Adidas, mm -hmm. is, uh, he's, he can procure the tickets for the final. And, um, yeah, there was, uh, I've been the last three or four. Brilliant. Mm. But you support... Ireland, really, don't you? Well, Let's I don't really, I don't really have a great passion for international football because I'm, I was born in England, but all of my, all my ancestors and relatives are Irish, so I don't really get that. I don't really get that head up when England get beat. Mm. I don't really get that excited, but I do like to go. I mean, I love football, so I go and follow. Uh, I follow both. Yeah. And neither at the same time, do you know what I mean? But, you know, if it's a first class, all expensive place <laughs> to South Africa, <laughs> I'm as English as they come, mate. Yeah, like a fruit, listen, you've, you've lived off the sun expenses for a few years as well, haven't you? Let's just make that clear. But that's your game, Gordon. <laughs> so if you're taking, if you're taking me out on a bender, yeah. you know, you're paying. That's but, it, the end. If we're out, you're paying. I just like to say, I paid a £600 French polishing bill for your missus. It's true. Yeah, but he needed polishing that French fella. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you know, you, I know, but for that, for that, for th for all the expenses, that gives you the leeway to kind of write those stories. But you don't phone and check with me. No, that it's true. But it's just a good story. Yeah. You know. So and I read it and I'll say, "Gogs, you mental?" And he say, ah, "I kind of knew it once." He said, "But it's a great story." He said, "That's just fine." <laughs> if I phone you, you'll tell me not to print it. I just like to refer everybody back to the disclaimer at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Everything with a pinch, a massive pinch of sort of turn his microphone down, Matt. Right. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a little break now. Then we come back, listen to a bit of Kasabian, and hear more lies from No Gallica. <laughs> Ask Sabian in Process Beats, this is XFM, and the last ever Smart on Sunday with Mr. Noel Gallagher in the hey, studio. Yes. Um, speaking of Kasabian, two of the best nights that I've ever had in my life were with you and Kasabian. One at Earl's Court, when they yes. played there. And, and we had the football match at five yeah. in the morning. I remember at one point, I was wearing terrible that's shoes. When I, that's when I claimed the Caner of the Year award. You did? When you went, gotta give it to you, gotta give it gotta to you. Look that. at the state of you. <laughs> I was in net. I was playing yeah. net for the rest of the world, 11 against Kasabian, who were England. I two cans of cider <laughs> and a cigarette. <laughs> that, was the, that was the goalie. You could, I mean, this yeah. game was... I think, like it was like, I think it was 11 all or something. Yeah. Uh, Kasabian had to go to Newcastle. It, they, they pulled the game, did they? They did, yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. Are we allowed to talk oh, about so, it? I don't know. I, don't know. We, I remember oh, you, mate, Scully, God. or our mate Scully, emptying a fire extinguisher all over our other mate, Mikey, at uh, about five o'clock in the morning. Oh, in remember in that? Was it in Claridge's? Oh, no, that was another time. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was after... <laughs> <laughs> that was after you two. <laughs> that was you two, Wembley, yeah. <laughs> when, uh, that was a great story. Tell that one quickly. Roman Abramovich, me and you, you at the cross. Yeah, we're in, uh... We go see you two at Wembley, and uh, we go see Bono because he's our mate. Because we're, uh, you know, we're dead famous and that. <laughs> and uh, so we go see Bono, and uh, <coughs> in this room, <laughs> Roman Abramovich comes in. So we'd had a few, and uh, it was just as uh, the Sheikh had taken over City, yeah. and uh, we were giving him what we felt was a bit of good-natured stick, you know, football, money, Russians, Arabs, and all that kind of thing, and uh, until. This guy just did this big black leather sleeve of a coat just appeared and put his hand on his chest and said, you can stop that now. <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, yeah, who are you? And he was just like, ah, stop it, go away. I'm like, all right, sorry. <laughs> I just remember you saying to him, because uh, we were doing this through his wife as well, because she was interpreting for him because he didn't understand English apparently. He understands English. He understood. Course, he and you said to him, we've got more money than you, at which point he got his wallet out. <laughs> Do you remember that? And waved it in your face. Do you remember that? <laughs> Brilliant. Because the guy with the earpiece came across to me and said, Mr. Smart, can you tell Mr. Gallagher that it's time to go now? <laughs> and anyway, we end up back at this party mm -hmm. and we sat around this table with, uh... Bono? Well, no, it's a name drop. Well, we do like to name drop. We are with a name <laughs> You ready for this? Salmon Rusty, right? <laughs> Who come out of hiding for the YouTube gig? <laughs> bit brave, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of sat around this table thinking, just, all of a sudden, don't feel very safe here now. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I was talking to this guy, young guy, and he was asking me about where I was and where I'd come from and all that, and telling that you know I'd, uh, I'd uh, started you know Manchester in a council house, blah blah blah, and all that. And uh, 
he was saying, wow, it's very, you have a very inspiring story, you know. Um, but have you ever thought of speaking at the United Nations? <laughs> and I was like, who are you? And he said, uh, I'm the Crown Prince of Bahrain. We can fly there now if you want. <laughs> and I was like, I could just see myself standing up tapping the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> good ear, innit? <laughs> I like the nibbles. The nibbles are good, aren't they? Anyway. Oh, right. dear. That was a brilliant um, night. Oh, that was a brilliant night. And, um... Yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what happened that night, actually, because you left, right, which occasionally happens and you leave me behind at these things. I left on the shoulders of another man, though. I remember that photograph. Uh, that, that, was that, carried out. that was the second night, because this was, this was a two-nighter, that Did one. Did we go two nights? We went two nights, yeah, but the first night, you left early, right? Oh, I went to Blackburn to see City, didn't I? You did, you right. did, and I remember turning well, around. Support, see. And the <laughs> proper fan. Blackburn, proper, proper fan. fan. And I looked around, it was just all famous people in the room, and I was telling a story about fighting Robbie Williams. <laughs> And then suddenly realised this isn't the best audience <laughs> <laughs> to tell this story to. Me and Scully stood in the middle of a room. Um, but yeah, Kasabian, another good Kasabian night was in Edinburgh, New Year's Eve, uh, 2008. Brilliant. The best night out. We went to the hog, the hogmany, or as my mum calls it, the mahogany celebration. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kasabian were playing. And my one memory of it, we we had this uh, we had this massive hotel suite. There was, was a presidential suite. We were all real close friends so there's like there was no kind of hangers on we did a I started a massive conger in the street yeah. outside then it went all the way <laughs> from one hotel to another but there's one I mean there was such great nights one of our mates called um uh, he was singing opera out the window at six o'clock in the morning yeah but then at one point we were like um where's Gog's gone no one had seen him for ages and I was like where's he gone well, you can't miss him he's got a white fur coat on where, where is he where is he, where is he? <laughs> and uh, someone opened this cupboard door which is where all the coats were hung up I swear it was as big, <laughs> you you know, you couldn't get more than, he was in the, like a, a broom cupboard, just in there on his own, it's like, where's God, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting five minutes, man. Five <laughs> minutes, man. <laughs> it was all getting a bit too much. <laughs> but you something. had the room, though, you had the room and there were like ceremonial swords and seals on the wall. I mean, it, you know, I'd like to think they were like 400 years old, but they'd obviously been put there like in the 80s. Yeah. And, uh, there was a bit of damage to the room, and this guy is going, you'll pay for this in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting the credit cards out and going, come on, it's worth 19.99, that sort. That's not come from Bannockburn. <laughs> that has not come from Bannockburn. Oh, dear. I got the bill the next day, £600 French polishing, because your missus have been dancing on Winston Churchill's table, left little holes on it, all hey, across listen, the table. Let's try living with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking of which. So yes. can I, right, we're gonna play, uh, a song which, it's a favourite of XFM listeners, <laughs> I would think imagine. So, yeah. I think it's the most requested song <laughs> on XFM of the last ten seconds, <laughs> and it's for my two young lords, uh, Donovan and Sonny. Donovan, who of which once referred to Gordon Smart and looked at him at a party of mine and just went, he's not a real grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the other little lord, Sonny, and, uh, for my missus, Sarah, um, who'll have to deal with this now, and this is, of course, the colossal Gangnam style. <laughs> <laughs> That's XFM classic, Gangnam Style by Psy. Now listen, you skinny-legged, angular haircut freaks, don't tell me you weren't all doing it then. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me you weren't all doing it, and all my two lads were. Oh dear. One of the boys. What lovely wee boys, eh, Donovan, cracking me, lad. My little boy fell over the other day, and he got up and went, Daddy, it's only rock and roll. Nice. I said, where'd you hear that from? Donovan. Donovan. Donovan's taken over this persona of, he said, we lying on bed one morning, he said, Dad, when I'm a rock star, I'm gonna be called Galaxy Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> It's, like, it's brilliant, that, isn't it? Galaxy Gallagher. Yeah. It's all right. I've already copyrighted it, by the way, if anybody's thinking of using it as a domain, <laughs> that's what he's done. So one of the best nights, well, I say one of the best, one of the worst nights out followed one of the best nights we had in LA when you were recording the last Oasis album. Uh, it was around the time of the Oscars. No, I'll tell you what happened. No, no. <laughs> they were the, Gog's give it the big un. Six weeks before, oh, you know I'm going to be at the Oscars when you're in LA. It's like, great. He said, we'll have to go out to the parties. And I was like, come on. Now we're talking. So it gets to the night of the Oscars, <sighs> comes round the hotel. This is grim. And the night before I'm saying, I'm saying to Liam and everyone, I'm going out to the Oscar party tomorrow night, I'm this far away from Jack Nicholson. I'm that far <laughs> away from George Clooney. This could be the making of me. I cannot believe it. And I'm with the guy that can open those doors. Anyway, so we get to the, we get to the, so he gets the Oscars is on, so it's like, picks me up at the hotel, right, we're going, right, there's a party at the Chateau Malmont. He said, we're going to meet some people there and then we're off. I said, great. <laughs> now, um, it kind of dawns on me the minute we come out of the hotel, this might not be a night when he starts sailing taxis in the street. And I'm like, 
cat's not even got a car, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Taxis, don't rock up at an Oscars party <laughs> in a taxi. <laughs> Hang on a minute, that's not, that's not how I roll. So he's like, come on, we'll get a cab, we'll go to the shop, my mom. So there's a guy on the door, yes sir. He goes up and he says, um, uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, and I was thinking, please see, I've gone smart from the sun, and the guy goes, hmm. <laughs> Flicks over one page. I was like, all right, yeah. this is already bad. No. Flicks over another page. I'm thinking, he's bound to be on the third page. Even I'm on the third page and nobody oh. even knows who I am. Gets to the third page and he said, no. And he said, okay, uh, about, uh, you and McGregor? <laughs> and the guy goes, flicks back. And then he went, no. And he went, James McAvoy? And at this point <laughs> I said, are you just going to list Scottish <laughs> actors? <laughs> no. Is this what's happened? Are we going to yeah. go around every party while you go... Uh, Billy Connolly? Eh? Billy <laughs> Connolly? Oh, so, so the guy, so we have to stand outside while all these limos are pulling up, you know, blacked out windows, and he's going, oh, I can't even believe it, man, I can't even believe it. The sound's going, he's just listing Scottish actors. <laughs> you know, oh, what are you doing? You. So, could, at least go with Sean Connery, do you yeah. know what I mean? Can I get my own bike? So he says, so he says, and he says, no, right, what we'll do is let's go back to our hotel, I'll make a few phone calls. So we get in another taxi. <laughs> if anybody's been to LA, there are no taxis. It took all night to get a pull up the street in a taxi, gets oh. in, some guy, me and him get in, and he's like, oh, where are you guys from? I mean, oh, you British, you in time for the Oscars? And I was looking at him going, yeah, kind of, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and the guy says, oh, I'm, so I'm sat in the front, and he says, you look kind of familiar. And I was like, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> and he said, uh, you were, uh, you in a band? And I went, I am indeed. I said, and he said, a big band, I went, yeah, and he said, are you Paul McCartney? <laughs> 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 and at first I thought, that's not bad, that. You know what I mean? Until I thought, McCartney's 64! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, dear. I'm only 39. I was 39 at the time. I was like, he's 64. Yeah. Do you remember that? into a bad night. The night before, though, right, it was a good night. We had a really good night. A proper night out. I don't know if you remember yeah, that. I do remember we, we, that, yeah. we had a bit of a long day with Ali Ross, weirdly, the TV critic. Oh, yeah. yeah it was a good day out. And then uh, we got back to the hotel and we'd had a few to drink. And the stories were coming out and we're all shouting at each other, talking away. And a big fella comes across, <laughs> covered in tattoos. <laughs> And I was like, oh, here we go, I'm going to have to do another autograph here. He's going to tell me his favourite song's Wonderwall and he was at Nebworth, blah, blah, blah. A guy Jeez. comes across and you're just getting yourself ready to do your best left-handed NG signature. Yeah. And God he, bless. And he NG. says, um, Nice one. Keep buying the records. And you go, come on, mate. Uh, what is it? And he goes, can you just uh, pipe down with the swearing, please? My daughter's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, well, if anybody knows me, is virtually impossible once I've started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no better time to play about Paul McCartney and the Beatles. This is Day Tripper on XFM, the last ever Smart and Sunday with No Gallica. That's the Beatles Day Tripper on XFM, the last ever Smart and Sunday coming hey, up music from Oasis. Hey, 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 hey. We've been joined in the studio by two people from the future, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> they, they've kind of, they've come back from the future. How's it going in the future? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really good. How, how bad a job does Gordon make of it in Scotland? Oh. Ruins it. Does he end up being the showbiz editor of uh, the Metro, Doncaster Metro <laughs> Monthly? <laughs> You'll still be on the end of the floor. Listen, you know your cash has gone down now. We are not mates after today. You know that, don't you? It's been, uh, listen, I've made the most of it. You said to me when I started, ride it till the wheels come off. And, and they've come off. Well, listen, when he, when he, when he, when he's, he's, he's got the, the Scottish Sun editorship, I was going, everyone's going, oh, it's great. And I went, no, 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 no hang on. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. The only reason we've cultivated this friendship over all these years was for him to become the editor of The Sun. And if he ever became the editor of The Sun, you know what that means? That means I'm the editor of The Sun. <laughs> right? And what's he done? They've usurped me by getting him up to Scott. You watch how many times I'm in the Scottish on Sun. Yes. <laughs> Page four, every three days. People <laughs> in Scotland will be going, there's no Gallagher with back here. Why is all these stories about him? <laughs> you, you don't know how true that is. <laughs> oh, true. I'll tell you what, when I come back, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> so all coming out. Um, listen, after this music from Oasis, the Coral Cortinas, and more from No Gallica. <laughs> Oasis, Master Plan, I think, in my top five favourite Oasis songs of all time. Uh, Mr. No Gallic is in the studio right now, abusing me. Uh, we're just talking about James Gandolfini there, the late James Gandolfini, the night we met him, that was funny. <laughs> well, did we meet him or did we just go over and shout, there was me, you and Stevie Graham. Yeah. I'm a Mancunian, you're, you're from Scotland, he's a scouser. I don't think, in fact, he didn't understand the word any no. of us were saying. No. It was just a lot of vowels thrown at him until he was going, yeah, green, I love London. <laughs> we were like... <laughs> Steve, Steve was on fire. It's good. Yeah, my missus was going, after she's going, I could have got off with him if I wanted to. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? She said, I could have got off with him if I wanted to. He's really checking yeah. it out. I was like, do you, we are married, you know. Yeah. She said, I'm just saying, I could have got off with him. I was like, could you? 
Yes, you. Well done. It's a recurring theme though. John Hamm, I remember getting quite giddy about. John Andy Ham, Murray. John Hamm, he's in Mad Men. That was at the GQ oh, Awards. Yes, she did piss him on that, did you? But she was <laughs> pregnant. Oh, hormones were all up the wall. So that's the worst thing. There's a picture of her and James Hamm in our, in our, uh, just in the hallway near our kitchen. He looks frightened. <laughs> she looks like she's about to devour him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, good to tell you. Your missus is a good crack, and she's been very good to me over the years, I have to say. Apart from the oh, time when I... No wonder you find I, a fragrance. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> going on there. When I printed that picture of her on a night out, she went bananas. Oh, no, it was she doesn't like worse that. than your worst ever text, actually. No, she doesn't like that. No, she no. She does not like that. Didn't like that. Catch her in a bad light and a, in, the, in the bizarre column. Ooh, not good. Whoever's following Gordon Oof. in that job, be prepared. Yeah, watch be that prepared. one. I'll, I'll honestly warn you about that one. Uh, no, listen, we do this thing called Rock and Dull, right? Tom O'Dell celebrated the fact that nobody's rock and roll anymore. Right? Isn't that ironic? <laughs> it's true. But isn't that ironic? Why? Tom O'Dell. Yes, I true. I was actually just telling you he was. Yeah. True. He, he did text the other day saying he was, he was having Seriously. a cigarette outside Whole Foods, which is about as rock and roll as it gets. No, having a cigarette inside Whole Foods, <laughs> that's rock and roll. Have you done that? Uh, I've not, I've, no, I've, I've been to Whole Foods, I've not, yeah. I've not, I've not nicked anything or had a cigarette in there. I've, yeah. uh, I've eaten in there, I don't, I do like it. Yeah. I met, I met, uh, I met Dustin Hoffman in there once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, seriously. What, over the quinoa uh, salad? No, because no, we'd, we'd been on Parkinson. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, 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 hey, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> An internationally renowned rock star. <laughs> kind of stuff happens to me. <laughs> We've been on Parkinson two nights before, and, uh, so we were around Whole Foods and there he was. It was only 48 hours previous. Yeah, yeah. He's getting on a bit, but surely the brain's not gone that much. So I was like, there's Dustin Hoffman, I'll just go and say, all right, mate. And I kind of went and went, all right, mate. And he just turned around and went, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking. As I was walking away, I was thinking, do I go up and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> Parkinson. <laughs> yeah. And he was just, he walked off with his wife, and I was like, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, dear me. No, listen, so, you know, you make the dry cleaning last a day in your life. When you're not touring, you're not recording, you're not in the studio, yep. you, you enjoy the mundane and the, the tedious. I do, yeah, for a bit. It's, doing, it's mm. starting to do me head in now, though. I can yeah. do it for about nine months, and then after that, go, it's starting to cave in on me now, the boredom. Yeah. But I can make, can make mundane stuff, like go on the bank. Yeah. Go in the dry cleaners is a good one. Um, I can make that, and it's only 150 yards from my house, I can make that last a day. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Doing the last time I came round, I had a cup of tea, and you uh, were going to see your accountant about buying another house, which was two doors down with a bigger garden. So I bought another house. Well, let me tell you, once he was round at my house, and uh, we'd been <laughs> we'd been away on holiday for South Africa. I don't know where we'd gone anyway. With the kids, been away for a month, and Sarah and uh, uh, this kitchen designer had designed this kitchen. We're going to get a new kitchen put in this house. And we we hadn't seen it. We got back and all rushed downstairs. Look at this kitchen. As you turn the corner into the kitchen. Sarah bursts into tears because it's awful, and I'm kind of having to stand there going, it is, it is awful, but kind of going, oh, it's, kind of, it's all right, don't worry about it, just rip it out, rip it out, we'll get a new one. She's like, I can't believe it, it's terrible, blah, 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 blah. But a week later, he's round at ours one night, and he suddenly says, there's a new kitchen? And I said, yeah, but it's coming out next week. He went, why? I said, Sarah don't like it, and he went, all oh, right, what are you going to do with it? And I went, we should probably sling it in a skip. All right, uh, can I have it? <laughs> I said, uh, what for? And he said, well, I just bought a house in Scotland. It needs a new kitchen. So, well, if you can get it up there, you can have it, you know. So, if any Japanese tourists are listening, <laughs> yeah. there is a kitchen in, uh, where well, you've bought some massive Kinos. estate up there, Yeah, you? Skyfall, it's called. Sky Skyfall. He's <laughs> yeah. bought Skyfall up there. There's a, there's a kitchen which I will have, I will have, I will have fallen over in a couple of times. Yeah. But, uh, I, pl I, I plan to be in that kitchen quite soon. Good. Does it look good? It looks brilliant. You know, you left the island. I know, well, it didn't have room for it. Because it's an island bigger than Wales, you know, it's a big island. It cost me, uh, 11 quid to get rid of that island, <laughs> you know that, didn't you? <laughs> Do you remember the text message you sent me about that, though? Which was? Because you said to me, you said, look, I need to check with the missus before you give the kitchen, right? Oh, because I'd give it, <laughs> what I'd done, I'd give it him drunk. Yeah, have it, <laughs> have it! And then I had to say, Sarah, you know the kitchen? What are we gonna do with it? And luckily she said, oh, I'll sling it in a skip, we're good, because I've just given it to God. God. <laughs> <laughs> but you sent me a text message and you said, listen, I've checked with the missus, and we're happy to help a lower-income family. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, yeah. it's true what they say about me. <laughs> I'm Jenny. a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? You did say that. Yeah, it was good, it was good. Um, so no, listen, just doing a quick rock and doll. Can you make a flat pack, yeah, a bit of furniture, you ever done that? No, 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 my butler. My yeah. butler does that. Yeah, he's good at it. Huh? Did he leave his watch and his tie behind in the house when he, uh, <laughs> when he made that 
flat pack furniture for oh, you. That's a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, my, well, I have, I have a few butlers. I'd like spread the wealth, you know. I should ask you some what questions because the time's running out. Um, you said to me recently you've written the best song you've ever written. I think so, but I always say that when I when, <laughs> I, when I finish it and I play it and I think that's pretty good. In fact, it might be the best song <laughs> I've ever written <laughs> until I. Uh, you know, rock and roll style on the radio and go, yeah, it's not that good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but it's, uh, it, I've written a few good ones lately, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. when we're gonna hear it again, when we're gonna see you again, yeah, when you'll be working? Yeah, I reckon I've already finished all my demos and stuff and all that, I'm just waiting now for availabilities of, um, my band and producers to go and do it. I'll probably start next year, I reckon, now, right. no point in ruining the rest of the football season. Because it's like a three-year commitment, isn't it, when you do something like that, is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that the next tour will be as big or as long as the last one, we kind yeah. of, a few places that we went that we won't go again. <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say if it's been most of next year recording, maybe the back end of next year or early 15, yeah. we'll all going to plan. And are you in good health? No. <laughs> Not particularly. Yeah. You know. You know, my mental, I'm, I'm mentally I'm suffering, you know. But, uh, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. Can you tell us about your other injury or do you want to keep that a secret? No, 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 we don't need to go into that, do All we? right, okay, that's no, fine, no, that's I'll fine. Get, I'll just get loads of get well soon, can't have Japanese people and, you know, God, I don't, we don't need that. As long as you give me 15 quid to come and look at your kitchen in my house in Scotland, I'm well, really happy. no doubt they will, no doubt you'll tweet it at some point. I've got, yeah, probably, well, I've got to ask you to sign it as well, just so you can, you know, give it some authenticity. Two microwaves in that kitchen. <laughs> really? <laughs> what do you need, what do you need two microwaves? Why, why have you got two microwaves? I know you like a pot I don't know, two, two micro- I don't, I don't know, well, you know, one for me and one for her. Right, really? okay. <laughs> it's in those microwaves, it's very Manchester. <laughs> two microwaves, that's what I said. Why is there two microwaves in this kitchen? Yeah. Well, it's if we've got, um, yeah. No, Listen, you've got a new kitchen and then you move house. I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, this, yeah, it's, um, moving house again for the fifth time in f maybe five or six years. It's a thing we- Rock stars are cursed with you know, yeah. you know, <laughs> trying to move move up in the world, aren't we? <laughs> but, um, but I've got to ask you a question. I'm moving, I'm moving next door to the Who's manager, right. whose wife has just taken up saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> I, was in, I was in the back garden the other day with the kids showing around. To have <laughs> <laughs> and I see Bill Bill Kirby there. I was like, yeah. right, but how's it going? You're playing saxophone in your eyes. He went, oh, the wife. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. It is like oh, Stella Street, because Weller's, Weller's over the river, isn't he? Weller's over the river. Robbie Williams lives on there. Um, yeah. Michael Flatley. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Bill Kenwright. The guy from Money Supermarket. Gordon's the guy from Money Supermarket. Uh, Lulu. Yes. Uh, Adam Clayton. <laughs> yes. Uh, some guy from Peaky Blinders lives back onto my garden. Gordon's yeah. 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 So, you? Honest to God, it's mental. I, I don't want to overstep. You can't get a cup of sugar for loving the money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to overstep the market or anything, right? But the last time I was around your house, there was a conversation between you and your missus where you said, like, we're going to be moving, and she was talking about interior We're not design. giving you your house. Well, no, I'm, I'm giving you the house. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think you're moving back to London? I don't Can I have this house? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the house, I'm just gonna say, if any of the furniture doesn't fit, right, I've got an empty house. Do you hear that, Sarah? Right. Well, seriously, some of it, you know what, it's not when, when men move out, they're just like, you go into an house and you just think, we'll just bring the kettle and that's it, we're yeah. done. It just, just don't need any work to it, you know. Yeah. Four million quid later, you know, you're just like still spending it on soft furnishings. Yeah. You know, but, um, I reckon there'll be a few bits and bobs for you to yeah. take up to Skyfall. Brilliant, looking forward to that. Can I have your wheat a toilet seat you can have. Oh, they can have your wheat a bit. damage on that. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 In every sense. What about, what, what about the wheat a bit? No Gallagher's wheat a bit. Can I have them? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, and the Noel Gallagher tea. No, yeah. that's memorabilia, that stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, it's like that really rubbish museum in Blackpool, you know, the really crap lookalikes place. I could have the Noel Gallagher Scottish Museum, charge 15 quid to come in, see the kitchen, sit on your couch. Do you know what? Stranger things have happened. Yeah. And the stranger things have happened. On a serious note, no, thank you very much for the last, uh, ten years or whatever. Yeah, well, I, on, be, on behalf of XFM listeners, I'd like to say, Good riddance and all, because quite <laughs> frankly, I've listened to your show on and off. Yeah. You do mention that it's on XFM quite a lot. Yeah. XFM, this is Gordon Smart on XFM playing the Outer Monkeys there on XFM. This is it. Did I mention XFM? Do you realise? Well, his first show, I texted him and he said, stop saying XFM. <laughs> he was going, oh, I've got to say it, man. For, I've got to say it's station rules. It's like, no one else says it. You know what, as my parting gift to XFM, you've just given them the best advert. <laughs> that's gonna be- uh, that's gonna be played every 15 minutes for the next 10 years. Great. On XFM. Anyway, good luck- good luck with Thanks the, so. uh, ruining the Scottish sun. Yeah. Do you think you'll get independence? Uh, personally, we'll wait and see. I keep my cars close to my chest on that one, no? That's what you- that's not what you were saying the other night in my garden. <laughs> you were saying something vastly different. Oh, <laughs> dear mate. Listen, no, seriously, thanks very much for the last 10 years. No um, worries, man. You've shortened my life. 
Um, mm-hmm. So I appreciate that, and I don't remember a great deal of what happened. All of us are standing up, though. Mine's a bit, yeah. yeah we've a bit had, we had a good crack at it, though. Didn't but we? we had a good go at it. Well, it means looking. You know, we're up in Scotland regular, so yeah. we'll, have to, we'll have to show them how it's done up there, isn't it? When I started the job, you said ride it till the wheels come off, and yeah, I think man. we've given it a good kick of the ball. Absolutely. So thank you very much, Noel. And listen, thanks no very much to the people of XFM for uh, putting up with me for the last two years. I really appreciate it. I'll miss the last job. I'll miss Matt Davison, work experience, Matt Pete, the people of the future, Cinta Templeton, and Liam sat in the corner, and all the good people of XFM. A very goodbye to you, and thank you very much.